What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's so great to see you all once again. It's currently Saturday for me. I want to cook up a massive meal that will last me Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And bro, I feel like some slow cooked meat wrapped in some cabbage. Ideally, I did want to cook up uh, a lucipi or a luau momoi. Don't have the lu on me. Don't have the taro leaf. So we're going to do something similar but not the same i'm going to be preparing a hangi in the oven and it's just going to be bro i'm not going to go dig up a pit if you don't know what a hangi is it's a traditional maori cooking method you know it's all over the pacific islands um you know like samoa has their own version which is called an umu hawaii you know, all the different Pacific nations will have their own take in this cooking method. The cooking style is you dig up a hole in the ground, you make a massive fire, and you either let the embers go, or in New Zealand they use volcanic rock that can, was it, it just withstands real hot temperatures. I think nowadays there's, you can use iron and stuff like that. But essentially that's it. So every Pacific nation will have their take on a hangi. Bro, traditionally, the hangi pit, you can't beat the hangi pit, you can't beat the umu, you can't beat the soil, the everything, everything cooking within the ground. And if you don't understand, you don't know, it's not in direct contact with the earth. You know, it's, it's wrapped, it's covered. You don't need to worry about that. But essentially, essentially, there's a hole in the ground. The embers and the fires on the bottom. You put the food on. You put wet towels or cloth all around. And then you fill the hole up. And then you just chill out. Your food cooks within the earth, which is such a super cool thing. And infuses some of that soil taste. It's not going to taste like dirt. Don't worry about that. It tastes fucking delicious. And then you just kick back, relax. By six, seven, eight hours later, then you'll have your steamed earth food. So, this is gonna be an oven version. <laughs> I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go out into my backyard and dig a hole, man. Uh, that takes so much effort. Shout out to everyone that does it the traditional way, bro. I got nothing on you guys. Invite me to your next gathering. I'll fucking make it like that bro my stomach's grumbling so you already know we got to get into it kick back relax and enjoy an easy at home oven hangi i'm gonna get the stuffing sorted so i've got some leftover sourdough breadcrumbs this is from some stale sourdough but the og is the budget white bread i Why I look like that? Pay no mind to this because it's still gonna be good, it's still gonna be delicious. I'm going through, I'm just removing the crusts. And these will go to the birds outside, you don't gotta worry about that. I'm just chopping it up, make it easier for my food processor. Splitting this up until it becomes like a coarse consistency. Have a look at that. Ideally you want to use like a stale bread, but if you don't have stale bread then don't even stress about it too much. I've got roughly 220 grams of butter going in. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Don't be shy, don't be scared. Don't be scared, it is a lot. Alternatively, you can use oil, lard, anything like that. The last time I made a brown butter stuffing and that's what we're gonna make today. We're just toasting the milk solids. So it becomes like a caramelized flavor. You can see the butter's foaming up. Under that foam is the milk solids, you can see how it's brown. 
You'll notice the smell as well. The smell smells just toasty. Toasty and caramelized. And it took me maybe like a minute and a half of cooking. And then we got it. That's the brown butter baby. This is one carrot, two onion. And we're gonna saute that in our brown butter. And you're thinking, oh, way too much veg, way too much veg. Nah, bro, we're gonna make this healthy some way, shape, or form. Thrash your veggies, bro. Not only does it incorporate more flavor, but it also stretches. You can see how thin it is. I'll pulse this in the food processor, so in no time. Just been cooking on high heat for the last two, three minutes or so. Gonna go in with oregano, black pepper, thyme, and a little bit of rosemary. And a nice tablespoon of garlic. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. And once we smell the garlic and the herbs, it's done. That's our flavor concentrate for our stuffing. And now it's time to add our bread. Good. Give it a mix around. We're incorporating everything and everything until it becomes one, one giant mass of extreme flavor. Once it molds like that, you know there's enough fat. Plus, I mean, we almost, we added almost half a block of butter. There's no way we're down horrendous on any kind of fat. Chuck it to the side. It's gonna cool down. Let it do its thing. Traditionally, you would use kumara, which is sweet potato, at the shop today. They were $15.50 a kg. Three decently sized kumara, $15. I cannot justify that, so unfortunately, we're having potatoes and we're having pumpkin. I don't know, there'll be some fucking idiot in the comment. It's not the same without kumara, bro. Yup, it ain't. Congratulations. You're right, but we're gonna work with what we got. So I've doubled up on the pumpkin and pumpkin is super delicious. So enjoy. I'm cutting them decently big, just like that. So they hold up in the cooking process. Oh, I'm just gonna go hard, just go like that. Perfect, don't have to worry about it, no stress. One, two, three, super thick, delicious. Potatoes, same thing, we can go super big with these. Just like that. Big fucking chunks of potato. This is so it holds up in the cooking process. I'm using agrias because agrias, uh, they're actually goaded when it comes to potato. If you use the pre-washed potatoes in New Zealand, fuck, they are horrible. They are so mushy and shit. I think the only thing they go for is boiled potatoes. Last but not least, we have a guest appearance, Mr. Yams. These, I picked these up for three, four dollars a kg, and the kumara is a fifteen dollars a kg. So, no hate. It is what it is. The crops must be fucked. That's the conclusion I've come to. You can see this is our veg basket. Fat as f Because veggies are nice and veggies are good. Veggies are delicious. We're gonna foil up the bottom. This is just a double wrap foil. You can keep the cabbage leaves whole, but all we need is a solid foundation on the bottom. So I've got three layers of cabbage on the bottom. I'm gonna go with my veg first. And I've just split it up because I've got two different trays going at the same time. And we're just getting all of the veg flat, you know? That's why it doesn't really matter that much about the cabbage, if it's sticking up or anything like that, because the veg will choke heaps of weight on it. Same as the protein, choke heaps of weight. And I'm going veg first, specific reason. So, when our meat goes on, all of that meat juices are gonna drip, it's gonna flavor the cabbage, it's gonna flavor the veg. I'm just seasoning it before it goes in. And just the same with the veggies, we're just finding a space, eh? Next up is our pork belly slices. Pretty sure these still have the bone in it too. These were my absolute favorite. 
Just like the chops, we're finding a space for our pork delay over the potatoes, over the pumpkins, because they absorb so much flavor. Yum. All right, cool. Try them in. Same treatment, salt and pepper. Find a home for these guys. I hope you guys see the vision. If you guys don't see the vision, you're more of like a traditionalist, then yell at the screen what I'm doing wrong. Clean hands. And we're just making little stuffing balls. There's so much fat in here that you don't need to worry about nothing. Don't need to worry about it sticking or being dry or anything like that. You're just crushing it together once it's combined. A little roll. So here's the final look. We have our stuffing bombs, proteins, veg, and cabbage at the bottom. Our layering process is done, and all we're doing is covering the top with cabbage leaves. Okay, 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 here's our final look. Cabbage on the bottom, veggies, protein, stuffing, more cabbage to top it off. Now I'm just going to cover this with foil, and it's going to go into the oven for a few hours. In my old recipe, I said to chuck like a quarter cup of water in it to help it steam. But you don't need to do that, I've got my spray bottle. I'm just spraying the top of the cabbage leaves because these do sometimes dry out and they'll, that, this, as well as washing the cabbage will offer us all the water we need to make sure everything gets steamed great. If you don't have one of these, just grab like a, a glass of water and you just go psh, 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 psh. and guys, it's simple if you want to make it simple. If you want to make it hard and difficult, Gonna be hard and difficult. Here's the final look before we go into the oven. Only step that I'm gonna do different is a couple holes in the foil to let the steam escape. Otherwise, we're just boiling it, eh? So that's it. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. That is enough. That's it. 180 Celsius for three hours. Say goodbye. And I'll catch all of you guys in three hours. <sighs> Just imagine. Behold the slow cooked goodness. Look at that. She's steaming. This goes hard though. I'm gonna remove all the cabbage from the top, just on a plate. Oh, by the way, I cooked this at 160 Celsius, not 180. Stuffing, 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 chicken, pork. These were bone in slices. Oh, there's the bone. Slow cooked, delicious. I bet you it won't be dry either. I bet you. All the money in my bank account. There'll be about 20 bucks in there. Let's finish off with a bit of stuffing right on top, right there. And here we are, guys. Here's my plate. Does that look f***ing beautiful or is that just me? Pork, potato, potato, pumpkin, pumpkin, all with that fat. It's all been steaming, cooking in that fat. It's absorbed all of the fat. Fat, 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 flavor, flavor, flavor. Cabbage, delicious. Lamb, chicken, stuffing. I'm so stoked. I'm actually so excited. Okay. We're going to speed run this because I can't wait. I need to sit down and I need to eat. So we're going to try a bit of everything. I'm going to start slow. Alright, I'm going to start slow. I'm going to try the cabbage leaf. This one was on top. Cabbage. Steamed cabbage. Mm. So simple, humble, and delicious. Next up, potato. No effort in breaking this, so there's going to be no effort in eating this. Oh, what the... 
just having that cooked in all of the protein fats that's unfair that's, a, that's really unfair for everyone watching this so if you've made it this far fucking shout out to you man shout out to you this bite pumpkin absorbs flavor is absorb the fat all right this pumpkin bite is for you here you go now one for me oh texture no effort i didn't even chew tongue went up against the roof of my mouth and i just smashed it i love yams to begin with but kumara hits different that was so good Oh, mad delicious. Ideally, you would have the stuffing with any other protein or just like throughout your meal, but we'll have it by itself. So fragrant, so delicious. Man, that's so good. With some stuffing, chicken and stuffing. Go. Well, cabbage. I'm eating too much of it. <laughs> I need to finish it up. All right, lamb chop. Yum, 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 yum. Not dry, delicious. Soft, melt in your mouth seasoned really really good so you can use any kind of pork pork sausages shoulder chops you know you want to go for a cut that when you cook it it becomes fucking tasty you know lamb shoulder pork shoulder pork belly slices and this is the star of the show this is the star of the show all right thank you to everyone watching the content if you liked it like share comment and subscribe Hit me on Instagram DMs if you want me to cook up anything that you want to see or chuck it in the comments below. Alright, I'll leave you with this. Mm. Pumpkin. Mm. No. No. Coarse cabbage cooked in fat. Alright, I'll see all of you on the next one.